Happy New Year's! Hope everyone's starting off the new year with a bang. Hope everyone had a good time with their friends, family, or themselves. So, on my end, I want to see if 2023, you know, gives me a little, gives me a little luck. 2022, uh, the baseball gods did not like me. I bought a bunch of blaster boxes, hobby boxes, jumbo boxes, and really didn't get much. So, this year, started off with buying some uh, cheap boxes. If you go on eBay, I think it's called, uh, what's the other website? Best Buy. Um, there's a few websites. You could probably find some of these boxes super cheap right now. Go ahead and buy a few. See if they uh, bring you any luck. For me, there really hasn't been much luck. But let's see if 2023 is a little bit different. That's a lot of cards. Yeah, it's a lot. I, I... <laughs> That's a lot. And you still got more. So well, this is going to be a long video. Of course, I'm looking for some uh, good rookie cards. It says one relic or auto per box. Uh, with my luck. Don't say that. It's going to be a relic. Oh, come on, 2023. You're going to get an auto. I bought two of those uh, Topps Holiday boxes. Yeah. And they were both relics. Oh. And they weren't even good relics. They were just relics. <laughs> they were just relics? They were just relics. Oh, okay. All right, we're starting off with C.J. Abrams. I like that rookie card. Julio Rodriguez. See, there Let's you go. go. You started good. My boy Julio. There you go. Coming in clutch. See, be happy now. You <laughs> started good. We got Zach Shorts. My boy again. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Who is that? Wonder Franco. Yep. Let's your go, boy. Wonder. Yeah, there you go. You got your boy there. <laughs> There you go, Castillo. I also know there's usually short prints in these. See, you got that in your first pack. You got Julio Rodriguez and Wanda Franco. So you should be happy now. Yeah, yeah you never know. Maybe you'll get the autograph. Or... For what I paid for this box, I, know. I, I need like <laughs> I know. 100 um, Julio Francos. Julio Francos. Julio Francos. <laughs> Julio Francos. <laughs> <laughs> My two boys, Julio Franco's. Oh gosh. Andrew Benetendi. There you go. Let's see. I'm excited about this box. So you're probably gonna get really uh, something nice there. Maybe. Let's hope. But I'm excited for it. I hope so too. Come on, 2023. Come on. So, Gali Lama. Yes. What are your goals for? Hey, hey I told you. I got I an told auto. You, I told you I had a good feeling. Yeah, baby. And look at that. Nice. You got one. I actually. The thrones are right there. Do I have any sleeves here? I don't no, see I any. No, I don't. No. But Can you get one from the box there? Yeah. So you just put it on the throne. I'm just going to throw them on the throne. Yeah. No, up there. It should be like uh, little bags in there. Okay, I got it. Funny enough, yeah, I actually it, so just... I just sold a Diamond King card mm -hmm. of Tyler. It was a one of one for like 60 bucks on eBay. That's awesome. And there you go. So now I have his and auto there. there. Auto too. It's definitely not going to be worth 60 bucks no. like the. Like the one you sold. Yeah. But I'll take an auto. I'm happy about that. Why not? Can't complain. I'll check afterwards, see if there's any good short prints in here. 
Spencer Strider. Oh, I didn't go through these. I didn't finish going through the cards. No, you did it. Jake McCarthy. Another possible good talent right there. Josh Bell. Packy Nalton. Okay. Ooh. Packy, Packy. Packy, Packy. Tony Romero. Corey Seager. So, I was going to ask you before I pulled the auto and got completely distracted. Uh-huh. What are your plans for 2023? Have you uh, set any goals? For me? Well, obviously, no, you, mean, there's no one else here. <laughs> um, to be healthier, to become healthier, and to just get energy enough to play more with my kids and be around my kids. <clears throat> and be there for them. So for energy? Yes, I need it. My health. I need my health. So that's my plan for 2021. Well, I'm going to start with the infusion on the, in this month, too. So hopefully that will make me feel better. Oh, yeah. So, guys, just in case, uh, my wife has multiple sclerosis. So when she talks about infusion, it's her medication that she gets twice a year. Mm -hmm. She gets the first one in January and the second one in, was it August? In July. July. Yeah. But it's a lot better than every day. It's a lot better. So yeah, that's my plan to become healthier. What about you? Um, I think for me, I'm leaning more towards uh, getting more familiar with the hobby. I think I, I don't look at cards from a value price point. Yeah. I, I kind of just enjoy the hobby. And sometimes I, I feel like I'm out of touch because of that. Yeah. Um, just get a little bit more involved with it. Figuring out pricing. Um, see what has better dollar value. What has better trade value. What has better resale value. That's true. Visit That's more true. sports card shows. Yeah, that's actually nice. Mr. Suzuki. And I think that things like that will probably help me uh, sell more mystery packs. Yeah. Help me out with everything overall. Juan Yepes. That sounds like a good plan. I, I think so. You'll I, be fine. I, I would really like to, you know share the joy I have with the hobby. Yeah. But I think if I had a better idea of like how to market it on eBay um, to grab more attention, uh, do better pictures, better descriptions, better titles. Yeah. Those are, ooh, George Kirby. <laughs> Followed up by Bobby Witt Jr. Nice. There you go. You're having a nice box. It's not a bad box. No, not at all. You got your, your cards that you liked in the beginning. Jake Myers. I'll take that one too. Nice. Nice back-to-back -back, uh, rookie cards. Definitely some potential there. I also think, um, you know, trying to... Just better myself overall in the business. Little side hustle money, you could say. That'd be cool. Jackie boy. No, it's not that exciting, is it? <laughs> well... There Waiting for the rookie cards. That's, that's yeah. all. I got Wander. I got Bobby Witt. I got Julio. Nico Dolo. Another good rookie card there. There we go. <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> Pena. How do you say Jeremy in Spanish? Uh, Jeremia. 
That sounds like you just made it up. No, Jeremia. That's how you say it in Spanish. If it sounds like I've made it up, okay then. If I said it wrong, guys, forgive me, correct me. Let me know how you say Jeremy in Spanish, please. Alec Thomas. Oh, I'll put you on the side here. Let's move Jeremy over here. Oh, this is nice. Go ahead. So many cards. Yeah. Lord. Too many cards. Oh my God. The collection you have is insane. Oh yeah. That's why also I'm trying to sell mystery packs. You, you think my wife is like kidding around here talking about I have a lot of cards? No. It's a lot. Yeah. And the basement is full of cards. I got to hear her complain about it every <laughs> single day. Oh, no, not every single day. I just tell you, it's a lot of cards you have. Well, from a wise perspective, that's how you hear it. For me, it's every single day, you nagging. Oh, yeah. So. Okay, whatever you say. But you love it, so I'm okay with it. I don't know what you think I love. The collecting of the cards. Oh, That's your I thought you were going to say you're nagging. Not, ha ha. Very funny. That was very funny. Thanks. I will say it's definitely not the nagging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something else. Oh, let me ask you guys. What are you guys setting up for 2023? What are your goals? Yeah, that'd be nice to know that. Throw it in the comment section. Let us know. Everybody goes a little. Go ahead. And no, everybody's goal every year is to lose weight. I promise I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna lose weight this time. But <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> oh and my god! The end of the year is right around uh -huh. the corner. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Richie. That's a nice card. It's nice. Numbered out of 373. Nice. It's a beautiful card. I'll take that. I I, I remember I was one of those people who would always <laughs> I'm do gonna that. Lose weight. Yeah, I'm going to lose weight. I'm, I'm going to lose, lose weight. weight. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to exercise more. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah, and then it gets to the point where you realize yeah. <laughs> the gym Mm -hmm. isn't the main decision into losing weight. No, it's what you eat. You have to change your eating habits. Yes, and you know that already. You lost so much weight. And then after your eating habits change, going to the gym helps you, you know, build a muscle and mm -hmm. makes you look slimmer, you look bigger. But Brandon Marsh, nice. <laughs> but everything's about eating right, eating yeah, right. It's true. New Year's goal, you know, setting up, I'm going to go to the gym to lose weight. You're not going to be happy with that. And then the other thing is calling it a diet. You just <laughs> got to change your lifestyle. Yep, that's what it is. When you diet, it's kind of like a trend. Like you're just trying to join a trend. Like I did keto. I, yeah. And I actually enjoyed keto. Yeah, so you see you enjoyed it, so... Some people hate keto, and they yeah. can't do that. Yeah, that's true. And they force themselves, and next thing you notice, they're gaining all the weight oh, after a month. Again. Yeah, that is true. Because they don't enjoy it, and they don't... It's just, they're just doing it to lose weight. Yeah. And to look pa better at that moment. Paleo yeah. is really all natural. You eat nuts, carbs, um, as long as, like... See, that's good and healthy for me, but I don't actually, I will not do it. Like, I can't. I don't know. I just don't like it. No grains or anything. Well, I that's can't. because you like to eat bread. I like and bread. Processed and processed food. Like, no. You love cereal. <laughs> you love yes, I like, bread. Yes, I like rice and all those things. I can't stop eating them. Well, I could, but it's just, no, I got to get used to doing the paleo diet. I can't. And that's healthy for me, too. It's really good. Well, it's hard for anyone. When you're used to eating Kit Kats every day, <laughs> two to three times a day. Who eats Kit Kats two to three times a day? Spencer Torkelson. I'll oh, take God. you, buddy. 
Hey, I got the whole set here of rookie cards that I want. I got Spencer, Pena, Wander, See? Franco, uh -huh, that's Julio your boy. Rodriguez. That's your boy. Let me see if I can pull another Julio Rodriguez. I, I doubt it. I doubt it. You See, doubt now it? I'm becoming negative on Thanks this Thanks for one. being so negative. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. 2023 came in and now you're being positive. That's a good thing. I'm going to take that back. You will find another one. And another one, the Franco one there, too. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> paleo will be a little bit different for people that love to eat fruits versus uh, keto. Yeah. So, if you like eating your fruits... Oh, I forgot about Bryson Stott. There you go. Another good rookie. There you go. You got another good one. There's so many diets or fads or trends out there. Yeah. Just find one that you can stick with for the year. That's true. Like, that's the thing. Like, you and I don't need to lose the weight. So we don't need to lose, eat the food to lose the weight. We just to be healthier. Right? Um, you don't need to lose weight anymore. Somewhat. Somewhat what? I, I, I would have to lose some weight, but also I think right now it's more of toning the body up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You don't need to. And of course, you know, keeping the weight loss. Yeah. Which I'm on a, I'm in a path where. The holidays get you. <laughs> yeah, what, Christmas, New yeah. Year's, Thanksgiving. You ate good. I definitely gained like 10 pounds. Now I got to lose those 10 pounds and... You'll do it. It's no problem. And put some muscle mass on. But more important than anything is, uh, I guess, just staying at this weight. Yeah, you got to stay on that weight. It's perfect. Eating healthy. Hey, Mackenzie Gore. I think um, for me, I I limit my diet to like vegetables and meats. Yes, you do. But that's not a diet now. It's basically... Hey, guys, sorry. I don't know why my camera failed. But yeah, it's more of a lifestyle change versus, you know, dieting for me. It's a trending thing, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice card. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one, too. There you go. One more. The last one. Yeah, for my wife always asks me the same question every day. What am I going to eat for breakfast? Yes, I do. It's egg whites and spinach or regular eggs with spinach. Yep. So simple to make. It's easy to prepare. And it's not bad for you. Yeah. But me, I can't eat that. You know that already. Of course not, because there's no bread, there's no. no banana, there's no... No, it's not that. Fried I just, food. I know, I just can't just eat the spinach and egg whites, and that's it. I can't. I can't. Maybe I could try, but I won't, I won't enjoy it. So I will not like it. And breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so I have to make it a good breakfast for me. That's a lie, too. I don't know. I know that, but I just have to use that. There's as something an cereal marketing made up. <laughs> oh my so god! You ate, so you would eat processed food with a bunch of sugar. Okay. All right, guys. What do you think about this uh, hobby box? Was it worth it? Not. Pretty happy with the rookie card collection here. And hope you guys have a great New Year's. And tell us about your New Year's resolution. What do you plan on doing? Yes, sir. Have a well, good yes, one. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Have a good one, Have guys. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye.